In this short video, I want to show you how to send money to any African country. So, the app we are going to be using in this case is called Swashore. I don't know the way you pronounce it, it's all on you. So, when you come on the app for the first time, you have to create an account. You can sign it with your Google or sign it with your Gmail. So, I'm going to sign it with my Gmail. So, that's it. It's very easy to create an account and it doesn't really need verification. So, now an o an otp has been sent to my gmail so i have to verify it so i'm just going to quickly go to my gmail box or my email box whatever you call it and try to get the otp code it said it was sent here so let's hope they are right if i don't see it i go to my spam folder Oh no, it just came, it just came. Go back, go back to primary. So that's my OTP code 5619. The reason I'm showing you this is because you can actually do not notice my OTP because you cannot use it. So I go back to where we are we were and I put five one oh what was the code again? Five six one nine. That was the right five six one nine. And I verify my code with my Gmail. So now I can set up a pin. Is this is as easy as creating an account? So I go ahead and, and set up my pin. Let's just set a simple pin one, two, three, four. And I confirm my pin. Submit. Please provide correct information. Please enter the OTP on your registered email again. I have sent an OTP. So this is OTP. OTP means one time password 8295. For those who don't understand it, so congratulations, my pin has been set. So now this is how Swish looks like. And then now uh, this is my tag, Gila David 8. Okay. So that's how it looks like. So now you can send money to various African countries using Swisher. For the, the first thing you have to do is add money. For you to add money, you just come here and select the country in which you are. So I'm currently in Cameroon and I choose Cameroon. And I go ahead now to put the number amount I want to add. I choose my currency. Of course, I'm in Cameroon. So I use the Central African franc. And then I go ahead and put uh, it has its is a uh, unit which is PUSD so I can if I put one one is going to cost me 672 so let's say I have to deposit 10 PUSD which is going to cost me 6700 francs once I've deposited there it's going to be cut for my mobile money account and then now if I'm to use a mobile money account so I say digital payment so I go to add, add money it's going to ask me where I'm going I want to pay So here I have to put my, my my mobile money account and I make the payment. All right, I don't. I'm not going to explain this. It's quite very simple to deposit money. The next thing I will focus on is sending money. So for you to send money to someone, the the other person must have a swipe account also. So you have to search for the person's switch tag so in this case this is what a switch tag is here's my switch tag so if anybody wants to send me money in my switcher switch account the person just have to send me to Njila david eight. You, that's it so the person who is receiving the money on the other end ask them for their switch tag and i'm going to copy this form and send to you so if assuming that i was sending money to Njila david i just have to come here and write Njila david but now this is my switch tag, so that's why I cannot see Chilla David. So when you search for the switch tag and it's correct, the person's name is going to show. And then you see that's my the person's detail. And then I put now the amount of money I want to send. So the minimum is two USD. So I'm gonna send from two USD upward, and I choose the amount I want to send. And a comment, and I go ahead and submit, and it's as simple as that. You can also receive money from here. If you want to receive money, just send the person who is sending you money your switch tag, and the person is going to send the money to you. Now, if if you receive money from someone, want to withdraw to your withdraw the money, just click on withdraw here. 
and then i choose the beneficiary who we want to withdraw the money for so who is withdrawing definitely is me right so i put my so i need to add the beneficiary who is withdrawing the money <clears throat> So I want to add a, a beneficiary, which is me. So I'm going to add me. And I put my name, David Favor. And then my Gmail, which is that. And my phone number. Remember, this is your mobile money phone number where we're drawing for. So 68192392 Cameroon. And that's all. Next. So my network is kind of slow so please just bear with me so empty mobile money that's what i use and then account name my account name for my mobile, your mobile money account name is, is david favor still then the mobile six eight one nine two three nine nine two so you can use you can send the money through this mobile money if you will love me so much are you sure you want to proceed confirm okay so i've successfully created a beneficiary account so i'll go back to withdraw money assuming that there's money in my account i've taken from someone and i just come here and i choose my beneficiary and then click on next then i go ahead and choose the amount i want to send and that's as easy as that so i choose how much i want to send 15 coins that's minimum required to withdraw so um i just write there 15 15,000, 9,000 9, something here. And I click on submit and it's going to send to my mobile money account. So you can choose to withdraw from your marketplace or from your Swatch account, depending on where the money is. So, so you can also sell your Swatch, but that's, if it, that's something for another day. So I hope you've learned how to send money and withdraw money to any African country. It can be to Nigeria, it can be to Ghana, it can be to South Africa. Yeah, they just go. Let's, let's just take a look at various countries. Let's just go. Let me see. And click on add money to the various countries african countries so there are even some western world countries okay that's it as easy as that hope you learned something from this video like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more helpful videos like this